we're going to shift gears here um, and start talking about about regulatory, and and hopefully that'll give us an opportunity to talk about the ROI, the payback on, on that significant investment, because I think ultimately that's where a lot of that uh, return comes comes from. Uh, real quick though, Zeming wants to know uh, if if there will be a video of this later, because uh, he said it'd be nice to share this with his colleagues. I agree, Zeming. I hope you do share it with your colleagues. And yes, using the same link uh, that you used to join us today, uh, you will find an on-demand version that you can share with anyone you'd like to share with. Um, so yeah, let's start talking about some regulatory issues. Brian, I know you've been waiting for this. Uh, <laughs> My favorite re topic. Yeah, regulators, yeah, that's where you live. That's your wheelhouse. Regulators live uh, safety, 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 and then efficacy and, and reproducibility which which goes hand in hand with safety um can we can we can you sort of brian can you can you share with us how and again this is a big question so i'll let you drill down wherever you, wherever you see fit can you can you share some examples of how this granular understanding enabled by better data exchange and better information sharing the granular level uh, of, of understanding that we achieve as a result of that results in the improvement to safety, efficacy, reproduci reproducibility that the FDA and other regulators want to see. Yeah, no, uh, I mean, you know, like you said, it's a, uh, it's 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 all about hitting, hitting the 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 nail uh, head on the nail, uh, so. You know, as far as safety, efficacy, and reproducibility are concerned, look, the better uh, you understand the manufacturing processes, the better equipped you are to fix uh, any manufacturing and clinical issues that you run into. So this is really true when it comes to uh, safety, efficacy, and reproducibility. You need to have a deep understanding of the processes involved with uh, manufacturing and you know of course the corresponding clinical operations and understand the CQAs uh, and and get that real-time uh, feedback into refining and improving the processes as you go through the development pipeline so you know when you identify potential problems as they arise you can you can take the appropriate corrective actions if you need to or adjust the manufacturing processes if you need to, to ensure that the products are safe, effective, and uh, reproducible, uh, reproducible, pardon me. And uh, with this knowledge, you can use it to uh, improve the processes, and ensure that the products that are produced meet all the, the benchmarks you have uh, for safety, quality, and efficacy. Yeah. And best you know, reproducibility. Yep. yep. Blair, anything to add to Brian's response there? And the, the more you understand your data and you can, when you think about just control of your process, the better you can analyze it, you, you'll be able to more proactively determine when your process is starting to become out of control potentially and then start proactively doing the troubleshooting to figure out, you know, is it a raw material that's changed or uh, something within the equipment is going off? Um, so that, that better you understand your process, the more data you have around that you actually understand the data. And it's not just data that goes sits in a database you never look at. Yeah. That really gives you the benefits of keeping your business going of keeping your product moving forward and you don't run into blackouts and shortages potentially because of your caught off guard that your process went sideways.